Human activity is destroying nature with a ferocity that has never been seen before. We are facing a global environmental crisis that affects us all. Our dependence on fossil fuels and the damage they do to the environment endanger our survival on this planet. Even though we have made some progress in developing cleaner energy solutions, fossil fuels such as oil, coal, and gas still account for more than 83% of our global energy sources. If we keep going on this path, we will face higher temperatures, rising sea levels, and more loss of sea ice. That is why it is more urgent than ever to replace fossil fuels with renewable energy solutions that are effective, reliable, and scalable. How can we achieve this? The two main renewable energy sources in the world are wind and solar. Do you know how the movement of water caused by the gravitational pull of the sun and moon can produce electricity? This is called tidal energy, and it is a reliable and predictable source of power unlike wind and solar energy, which depend on the weather conditions. In this video, we will explore how tidal energy works and why it has the potential to surpass wind and solar energy in the future. Tidal energy is a form of power that harnesses the natural rise and fall of tides, which result from the gravitational interaction of the Earth, Sun, and Moon. When water flows through narrow passages or channels, it creates tidal currents that can be harvested by specially designed generators. Tidal energy can be converted into electricity or other useful forms of power. The best locations for capturing tidal energy are those with large tidal ranges, which are the differences between high and low tides, and where tidal currents are strong due to the constriction of waterways. These locations can provide a steady and predictable supply of tidal energy that can be used to meet our growing energy needs. The ocean is a huge source of renewable energy that can provide clean electricity, fuels, and materials for various purposes. However, tapping into this potential is not easy. We need to develop and improve technologies and methods that can capture and convert the ocean's energy into usable power in a cost-effective and sustainable way. Tidal energy has several advantages over other renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar. For example, tidal energy is more powerful because water is denser than air and can produce more energy with the same turbine size and speed. Tidal energy is also more reliable and predictable because tides follow a regular cycle and are not affected by the weather. Tidal energy is not a new concept. People have been using it for centuries to power mills, pumps, and other machines. However, modern tidal energy systems are still in their infancy, with many challenges and barriers to overcome before they can become widely adopted and profitable. Some of these challenges include finding suitable locations, designing efficient and durable devices, minimizing environmental impacts, and finding alternative applications for tidal energy besides grid electricity. The world's largest tidal barrage was built in La France, France, in 1966, with a capacity of 240 megawatts. It remained the largest until 2011, when a 254 megawatt array was opened in South Korea. In the last 20 years, the industry has moved toward in-stream tidal energy generation, which uses single or multiple devices within the tidal stream. The European Marine Energy Center, established in 2003, is the world's largest testing and demonstration facility for wave and tidal technologies in real sea conditions. It has grid-connected and scale test sites for different sizes of devices. It has tested more tidal energy devices than any other site in the world. As the world's population and energy demand grow, so does the need for more clean energy sources. Tidal energy is one of the renewable energy options that can significantly increase the global generation capacity. However, there are some challenges that need to be overcome, such as device durability, environmental impacts, and economic viability. Tidal energy can be harnessed in different ways, depending on the tidal range and current strength. One of the methods is to use tidal turbines, which look and work like wind turbines, but are smaller and stronger. They can be placed on the seafloor or float on the surface, and can be arranged in single or multiple units. They capture the energy from the tidal current and transmit it to the grid through underwater cables. 
There are several demonstration projects for tidal turbines in the U.S. Another method is to use tidal stream systems, which capture the energy from high tidal velocities in narrow passages, such as inlets and straits. The Mygen project in Scotland is an example of a tidal stream system, and it will be the world's largest when completed, with a capacity of up to 398 megawatts. Tidal barrages and lagoons are two methods of harnessing tidal energy by using retaining walls and turbines. They capture the energy from the large tidal range and the incoming and outgoing tides. The largest tidal power stations in the world are barrages in South Korea and France, with capacities of 254 megawatts and 240 megawatts respectively. The next largest is in Canada, with a capacity of 20 megawatts. Tidal lagoons are similar to barrages, but they can be built along natural coastlines and have less environmental impact. However, there are no operational tidal lagoons yet, although some are being developed in China, North Korea, and the UK. Most of the tidal energy development efforts in the world are not focused on barrages and lagoons because of the environmental challenges they pose. Instead, they are focused on generating electricity for onshore use via the national grid. Tidal energy can also serve other ocean industries, such as aquaculture, mining, research, or military missions. This is part of the blue economy, which is the sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth and social benefits. Tidal energy is a clean, renewable, and sustainable resource that can meet the growing global energy needs now and in the future. However, tidal energy also faces some challenges, such as high costs, environmental impacts, and limited locations. Tidal energy has the potential to meet a significant portion of the world's electricity needs. According to one estimate, the global tidal energy resource is about 3 terawatts, which is equivalent to the power output of 3,000 nuclear reactors. Tidal energy is still an emerging technology that needs more research and development to overcome the barriers and challenges it faces. Some of the current projects and initiatives that are advancing tidal energy include the Maiden Project in Scotland, the European Marine Energy Centre in Orkney, and the Powering the Blue Economy initiative by the US Department of Energy. The locations where tidal energy facilities can be built are very limited. Moreover, some of these locations are far from the grid, which means more investment is needed to install long undersea cables to transmit the electricity generated. There are also environmental concerns about tidal energy. The large underwater structures that are used to capture tidal energy may change the water flow and quality and harm sea life and habitats. They may also cause collisions between marine animals and fish and the spinning turbine blades or disturb their navigation and communication with underwater noise. Some sensitive species may avoid the electromagnetic fields from the power cables or the changes in their habitats. Therefore, reducing costs, developing devices that can withstand ocean forces, and minimizing environmental effects are the main research priorities for tidal energy. Most of the tidal energy development efforts in the world are focused on tidal stream or current energy which uses arrays of submerged turbines to capture the energy from the water flow. 